Mother is not just by the biological mm -hmm. uh, setting. Anybody can be a mother, including the father. Because what does it take to be a mother? It's all about caring. We just saw the video, which is that clip. You see, everything encompassing, feeding, everything. The psychological. You are you are responsible to raising the psych a psychologically balanced person, a physically balanced person. Uh, physically, when I say physical, I'm not talking about the de physical defects. Mm -hmm. These are natural things or beyond our control, you know. But I'm talking about those things that are within our control. So it is your responsibility as a mother, as a parent, to make sure that you, you raise children that are balanced psychologically, they are balanced socially, and of course they should be balanced also ec economically. That's why you see a lot of women go the extra mile, or a lot of parents go mm -hmm. the extra mile to teach their children certain skills, certain things they need to do. And I think he made mention of something very important, helping these children to realize who they are first and foremost. Mm -hmm. You see, this is where a lot of the time we miss it. We want to teach them where they're from, what they have before they know who they are. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the day, you get to miss the most important thing. So everybody, whether a man or woman, everybody is inclusive. I remember when we were growing up, I, I, I really don't like my mother traveling because that moment, <laughs> everybody's eyes are on you. And when she comes back, I don't forget, if I do something wrong, her friends, my neighbors will call me, they'll scold me, and when she comes back, they will report it back to her. Even after scolding me, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I really don't like her being away. I prefer if she's around, at least it's only one school. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all encompassing all of us are involved in this matter your children are my children my children are your children and every other person here it's our collective responsibility he made a very vital point he said the society we live in today is as a result of parenting what kind of parenting good enough we still have some people that still believe in the old scoop way you know there's people that are doing that yeah. and i believe that absolutely mm -hmm. yesterday night i went out I, I came home checked my boy's uh, uh homework he's the only one at home checked his homework and then i asked him let's go strolling we went for a walk together and i asked him what about your exams how did it go today which paper do you have tomorrow he said he has only one i said okay immediately we come back make sure you take a shower go through let me see what you've and all of this yeah it happens you know there are some people that do that but there are some of times that we just say i'm just so tired mm -hmm. i don't have time mm -hmm. and those are those little little time that we let go and it affects the children